Amazon said that it was delivered and I went downstairs just now and it's not there and it's not in the back and I'm 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 kind of tight because I just feel like we're the so guys I had a little plan for today and um it's super early right now first of all and the plan for it's 9 31 the plan for today was um to wake up and go to H&M because H&M is having a sale on some jeggings type of jeans that I really like and I could really just slip on and wear to work and just slip on other times too because I really love the material and it's nine dollars you don't get that all the time so I was planning to run down there real quick today and buy like two or three of those because that you see sometimes it's better to buy hold on this wig is squeezing the f out of me and I already have a headache I really have to go in and adjust these um this is an old wig that I had for a while it's pretty full and it's out like that anyways that's not what we talking about so um and I put it in a side part which is pretty new for me because normally I'm like in a middle part it's not what we talking about either so what I'm saying is, yes, yeah, so I wanted to go get some of those, which I probably still might. Today I'm expecting a delivery too, because I should get an ottoman in the mail. But I was wondering if I wanted to wait to get the ottoman or if I wanted to run to H&M real quick, morning time, and then just pop back in and like receive my ottoman. I don't know. But I want to go because I felt like the jeans might not last very long because they're very cheap and... It's H&M, so the quality is decent. So I wanted to just pop in and, and cop a few of those real quick. Stop. Um, Amazon, see my phone just reminded me, and it's been reminding me since yesterday. Amazon still has not returned my money in my account, but we try not to complain too much. I also need, so see, if I go to Jamaica Avenue, I'm going to end up um, going to Marshall's because I got to get the curtain for this window too. So there's that. So I feel like what I need to do is hop in the shower real quick so I get that out of the way. So whatever I decide that I'm going to do, I can get to do it real quick. And I'm going in and changing the elastic in all my wigs. This one is amazing. This is the one I was wearing in yesterday's vlog. But here's the problem now. Okay, this one feels a little bit too tight. And I don't want it to be tight at all because that's how you get headaches. So I'm thinking of cutting it in the middle and adding a piece to it. I feel like I should be able to do that successfully. So maybe since I'm already sitting on the floor here, I'm going to do that real quick. And then I'm going to hop in the shower, shower, and just be done with all the wig stuff. This one too, I feel like, has really come through so much. So I also feel like maybe I'll change the elastic in this one because this one feels a little tight on my head. And that's not really what we go on for at this point in life because you're not going to be out and having a headache from your wig. The band needs to be comfortable, and this is nice and thick and comfortable enough because it's two inches, so I want to just go in and kind of revamp all my wigs is pretty much what I'm saying, okay? So we're going to do that, especially now that I have the time, and this one is a frontal. I bought this one from RPG here, and you know, it's old. Maybe it's like two years old at this point, or, yeah, because I had it for a while, and it's, you know, the hair held up. I feel like sometimes when I wet it up, it looks like it could take a little bit more hair, but for the most part, it works, you know? Maybe this should be my work wig. I feel like we're not going to do this. Okay, I'm going to gonna go. See, this is not going to focus on my face now because I'm wearing this baseball hat that is not allowing my face to show. Mm -hmm. Wait, yeah. Hold on, sis. I'm just the sitting this by my camera. Hold on. Okay, that's so much better. So guys, I'm, I just showered and everything. So different setup from this morning when I had just vlogged. But um, I'm also not wearing the wig because I did some, you know, reconstruction. Okay, maybe that was not reconstruction. I just fixed it up with the elastic and it's sitting right over here right now. So now I'm kind of conflicted because I have all these wigs that I could possibly wear and... 
I don't know. I guess it depends on the mood that I'm in per day. Anyways, I said, oh, I need to go to the Dollar Tree as I'm talking about it. So maybe I need to put um, a, what do you call it? A uh, sweatshirt on and run out there really quickly. I'm also on the phone with my sister. We've been on the phone all damn day. But I've been waiting all day for my ottoman to come in the mail, which it did. Amazon said that it was delivered and I went downstairs just now and it's not there and it's not in the back and I'm 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 kind of tight because I just feel like where is it and it's not a small package it's a big box where you can't miss that so I'm expecting to pop up downstairs and it's sitting on like this step or in the front of the yard or something since I didn't see it in the back through the window and it's so in the middle of me talking just now my camera died um I was saying I also ordered some stuff from Victoria's Secret and normally it comes dumb quick because I get free shipping because I spend more than $75 but when I was buying those I'm just like I'm not gonna force myself to buy 20 underwear just for it to pass $70 just so I can get free shipping so I'm gonna buy the 10 for 35 and I'm gonna pay this $8 for the shipping and they should come it's a good thing I haven't run out because they are not here yet not at all and when I checked it earlier I was saying that it's supposed to be delivered between today and two days from now and I just feel like what the is taking it so long when I paid for the shipping like come on let's go anyways I'm so tight because my package my package is not here and Amazon still has not given me back my money yet I mean they see I just got an email this is whoever the hell that just helped me earlier I also feel like every time I call Amazon the people who I be talking to are like Indian or something like that and I can barely understand what they're saying because they have an accent so they said the money should come back on my credit card in three to five business days. And I just feel like if I just bought the shit and I didn't get it, give me the money back now. I don't want to wait five days, but whatever. It's not like I'm doing nothing anyways. But I'm very upset right now because I wanted to go downstairs. And the box is down there because I was waiting for it all day. Let you just pause your day and decide that you're going to wait for a package to come. And Happens. You sit there all day not doing nothing else and the package don't come until like 8 p.m. Hate that. Anyways, I think I'm about to go back down there to see if I see it outside. And I'm actually going to go to the Dollar Tree because I need to buy some stuff at the Dollar Tree really quickly. Hopefully I don't go out there and spend $40 because it's so encouraging because everything inside there is for a dollar. But the next thing you know, you're in there coming out with 40 items. $40 real quick. We're not trying to do that today. Cause, and I'm broke. Because I got to pay my credit card bill. So there's all that. But what are we going to do? We're adults. And adulting has to happen. So that's annoying. Anyways, I'm about to go see if I can find my missing package that I've been waiting on all goddamn day. Too exposed? Okay. Um... Hello guys, so um, I went downstairs and still did not find my package. However, I went to the Dollar Tree and did what I said I was going to go do. I got, and I feel like that's one of the quickest trips I've ever made to the Dollar Tree because I was really in and out, which was the aim, but most times I go in there with the aim of going in and out and I end up <laughs> buying too much stuff and staying in there for way too long. But I did not find my package and I'm so disappointed because... I really wanted it to come in good time where I could put it together and take some pictures in my living room and that did not happen. So now I'm mad salty. I texted my husband too to tell him to ask the people if they've seen it but he did not reply so that's also a dub. So I think this is where I'm going to end today's video unless if, the pa if, if later on when he comes he collects the package and stuff then I'll pop in quickly and show it to you guys and you know if not I'm gonna just close out the vlog because I'm not gonna maybe I'm not gonna get it until like tomorrow or the other day because that happened before so this is where I'm gonna end today's vlog thank you guys for watching I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next vlog as usual